yes, it's nice just to walk along carrying the box. And this one has its own carry handle. This model is from Conrad and it's the Feynmanville Combimax trailer system. This set was first reviewed in 2015 and this is supposed to be an updated version. The packaging is high quality with soft foam rubber used. And there are many parts to the model. These are described on the included instruction sheet. And the sheet then goes on to describe how the various parts are put together. So this set should very much be viewed as a set of parts. And that means you could build up any combinations that you like. The instructions do show a couple of different variations. But in practice there are many more. And we will look at some of them in this review. Before we start, just a reminder that you can see a lot more about models on the Cranes Etc website. And the link to it is in the video description below. Also, if you want to know where you can buy scale models, then you can click on links on the website, including those in the shopping mail. And listed here are dealers that sell models in countries across the world. We'll start by assembling a basic trailer configuration just to show how the parts go together. Included in the kit are a couple of rear ends, and these include lights and they clip onto the end of a module. It is a plastic part, as are all of the connectors in the kit. But the grade of plastic used is very good, it's tough and flexible, and best of all, they don't really look like plastic. Many of the connections get fixed together with a long plastic pin. And this is easy to do because the fit of parts is very good. So it's no struggle to insert the pin and push it home. That's the rear end of this configuration sorted. And at the gooseneck end things are even simpler because the front of the deck just hooks over onto the gooseneck. So here we have this simple trailer configuration. And then all we need to add to it is a suitable tractor. Of course it fits properly to a Conrad made tractor and you can adjust the gooseneck angle to get the deck level. Next we have some smaller details to add and that includes uh, marker boards at the gooseneck. They fit well and then we have a pair that fit into little clips at the back. These are okay but the clips are rather loose fitting. In terms of detail, we'll start with the modules and they're fairly simple underneath. The axle units and wheels are made of plastic and the tyres are decent looking. Moving on to the gooseneck and it's mainly a metal part and it has some different surface treatment and metal sideboards. Other details include plastic wedges and there are some small Feynmanville graphics. At the back the hydraulic rams are modelled and there are marker boards. And moving on to the deck beams there are ramps at the front and it's an all metal part. There is some detailing down the edges and the rear connection of the deck beams can be separated. The structure of the modules is all metal and the trough down the middle is painted. At the back the plastic light board has some decent detailing and that includes sharp graphics. The kit also includes a drawer bar, and this is a metal part. Starting with the modules, and there's some flexibility in the axle units. Part one weakness the model does have is that the axle units don't steer, so only a straight pose is available. Here we have the two biggest modules linked together, and they roll well enough. Another configuration option for the model is to attach a drawbar at one end and that gives us a towed setup. The drawbar goes from side to side but obviously that does not impact the steering. And for demonstration purposes we attach it to a big tractor, although ideally it would have a ballast box fitted. And just for fun we'll add a load and here we have a large steel fabrication. At the other end of the scale, if you want, you can have a very small trailer. The set includes a bridge deck and single axle modules. And this time we attach it to a tipper truck. 
And just for fun, the giant hand crane brings in a shipping container. We've already seen another option, which is as a low loader. And the deck has some additional functionality, which is that it's fully extendable. So it is possible to achieve a very long deck, but there are no deck plates included. Even so, we can use it as a low loader, and here we have a configuration which can carry a small excavator. One issue though is that if you carry a load, the rear module doesn't sit level. Although you can probably fix this by fitting a small spacer in the gap between the module and the connector. Another feature of the modules is that they can have deck plates fitted, and these slide in over the central well. They are metal parts, and they fit very nicely. We will now proceed to build up another configuration, and that is using a central spine beam. This has a fixed connector at one end, and the connector at the other end slides into different positions. And any unused end of the beam can slide into the gap below the plates in the module. The connection is made in the usual way by the insertion of a pin, and that gives us the full trailer made up. There is another display option available at the gooseneck, and that's for when the tractor is not available. There are a couple of metal support legs which slot in at the front, and it looks fine when it's all straightened up. The kit features another interesting couple of parts, and that's these rotating support plates. They are made of tough plastic but with an excellent colour match, and there are metal posts which clip in. They also have a variable position so that you can clamp a load. The plates are fitted by clipping them into holes on the module deck, and that works reasonably securely. Now the giant hand crane can really go to work and drop in a huge concrete beam. And this particular setup of the model looks great. Although this is a revised version of the CombiMax kit, it's not obvious what has been changed. It's not the most detailed, but it is robust, and the key aspect is its flexibility. It's a bit pricey, but there are enough parts to make two large trailers, and if you want to be able to assemble exactly the trailer you want, this kit is very good. Music 